I heard presents are going to be slower this year. Why? Well, ever since uh, that car hit that, you know, reindeer on the road a few right. years back. <laughs> yeah, Santa's just been tougher. It's not funny. It. It's not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. I'm really getting sick of all the animal stuff. Yeah, 225-pound animal with limbs just getting poof. I'm really getting sick of that, dude. It's, it's not funny. It's not funny. Or a Tesla just automatically creaming a camel. <laughs> You see the video of that deer getting hit by that car? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, if you're, you know, you're wondering like, you know, when you're ordering presents this year, it's like, oh, there's gonna be delays, like global supply chain, blah blah blah. It hit Santa too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, good luck to him though. Merry if, Christmas. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's up, guys? This is the CMG podcast. This is today's free episode. If you want this episode ad free and an extra bonus episode, you can find that right now on Patreon at patreon.com slash tiny And if not, then enjoy this one. Holy fuck! Jamie! Can we get a clip of that deer hit? Get hit by that car? Let's live the flying saucers may soon be solved. If you've never smoked weed at literal Woodstock, you're not a stoner. Goodbye. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. I'm gay as fuck. I'm trying to get my RC The so-called flying stuff. Look at all these fucking chickens. Malone Brown, did you hear this whole? No. Malone Brown dick in your mouth? <laughs> no! 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 Please look at all the signs. Fashion your seatbelt and get ready for the base. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Yeah. Non-denominational Merry Happy Holidays. Yes, Happy Holidays. Sorry, yeah. whatever you celebrate. Yeah. Um, wonderful, isn't it? It is. We're really getting in the spirit here. Shout out to the guys. I mean, you know, I guess when you're the production crew and you're stuck in space, you got to do something. <laughs> Dude, where did you get this tree? Yeah, that's, I'm very curious. We're just it's, floating yeah. <laughs> through space? Yeah, <laughs> space trash. <laughs> Yeah, there's a whole planet of trees. Oh. Oh. A tree planet. Yeah, they come pre-lit. That's lit. <laughs> so you guys didn't do anything. <laughs> now it just makes it less special. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> kind of fucked up. And you just touched down and you're like, oh. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> I love that, man. Um, how so was I was Philly, man. <laughs> <laughs> It's <laughs> like exactly what I would expect after that question. Listen, the, How's sh Philly? <laughs> the shows were amazing. Shout out to Philly. Thank you so much for the wonderful Wednesday, Thursday. Um, there were a couple shows, you know, the Philly spirit came out. It was like, it was rowdy. I had to, had to calm it down. But um, I, I picked up something. I've been feeling like ass, and it's probably the meat sweats because I had. Philly cheesesteak every night. Oh. It's delayed meat sweats? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That shit catches up with you. Dude, we landed, uh, when, when was it? It was like Tuesday, and it was midnight when we landed. Which, by the way, our flight was late because we got deplaned. Ugh. Because, of course, I've never been deplaned in my life. And the first time we get deplaned, there's like a rude lady chirping at the flight attendants on her way to Philly. No way. Yeah. You guys had to get <laughs> off the plane for that? For one woman? I heard, I heard the flight people talking about it. Because um, they said that she said, I'm diabetic. <coughs> this is a life hack. That's not funny. <laughs> so funny to be diabetic. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a life hack right here. If you're being rude on an airline and you say you have diabetes, they can't fuck with you. It's illegal. Why is that illegal? I don't know. So I heard the flight attendants talking about it. Is that a law? <laughs> I heard some dude saying, like, did she say she's diabetic? And one of the flight attendants was like, yes, but she is, uh, she's doing this and that, and she, she needs to be removed. Uh, none of us are comfortable with her on the plane. And the guy's like, well, we, we can't just kick her off. If it's diabetes, it's a legal issue. We can get sued. We can't kick her off. She has diabetes. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So they deplaned the whole plane and then let everyone back on except her. Oh, so that's another life hack. Then. Yeah, yeah. They they life hacked her life hack. Yeah. She's like, I have diabetes. They're like, we're deplaning the plane. And yeah. She's like, wait, wait a second. And then she didn't get the comeback on. Yeah. 
So I heard differing stories. It was like, I felt like I was watching a true crime doc in real time. Yeah. Because I saw them. And then as I'm leaving, I heard this lady say, they kicked her off the plane. All she wanted was some water. Then they just started being mean to her. It is unbelievable what this airline does. Blah, 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 blah. What airline was it? Are oh, you trying to put me in the middle? No, I, well, <laughs> put them on blast, dude. <laughs> who was it? They didn't do shit to me. Yeah, well, who was it then? It was American Airlines. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I, so, uh, yeah, that's weird. So you don't know the full story? No, I don't know who to believe. You know? Yeah. But of course this would happen to Philly. Yeah, yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah. It was, so. Damn, and to think all she did is have diabetes. Yeah. That's all it took. <laughs> She's like, I have diabetes. They're like, you need to get off this. Yeah, plant. yeah. What do, what, do, what do you want? What do you want to drink? And she's like, ah, just water. I can't do sugar Around. because I have diabetes. <laughs> they just, they just. You have diabetes. <laughs> they retracted their hands, stood up straight, <laughs> went right to the front of the plane. Boop on the intercom. We're gonna have to deplane the plane. <laughs> she has diabetes. What? Why are we deplaning? She has diabetes. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Deplane the whole plane, dude. I I flew. Uh, JetBlue from <coughs> Vegas. I forgot to tell you this. This nice. is one of the weirdest flights yeah. I've ever had. <laughs> Both the flight attendants were uh, like male, I guess like budding voice actors or something. Oh. Because the whole flight, all their announcements, they would do it in this like really deep like trailer movie voice. So you were turned on. I'm yeah, sorry. I mean, I a little bit. Well, sex, but yeah, what? Ahead. I said, I'm sorry. I had to make it about sex. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I was a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, but they were, they, it was so bizarre. They'd be like, this flight has an in air time of two and a half hours. <laughs> a- everything. And like the guys, like, stand, like, we're in like the third row or something, flex. <laughs> but the guy's like five feet from us. Yeah. We see him. He's like this scrawny, like, little white guy. Yeah. And he's like making his voice all big and he's like, flight time to Los Angeles, California. And then the other guy would get up and do the same thing. They were like little like improv troupe, but like <laughs> that would that would so just fucking weird. That would just be us if we were flight attendants. Yeah, but just like just to fuck with people. Yeah. Yeah. If we both got on, oh, you clocked into this one? What's up, man? Yeah. Let's do the uh the thing. Yeah, the thing. Yeah. Okay. That would be that's scary. It was scary. Because that feels like the precursor to, to it going down. That's what I'm saying. Anything on a plane or to do with airports or just be normal. Yeah. Just do normal shit. Don't do out of the ordinary shit. Yeah. It just makes people nervous. Unless you're KLM, but that's... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah KLM, do <laughs> Maybe what that's you what want. they were trying to do. Yeah. That was the American version. Yeah. It's just not as cool if you don't have like a European accent. Nah, yeah. That, that to me sounds like the beginning of Godzilla. Yeah. This flight is two hours long. Uh, until what? <laughs> two hours to go. Till until when? We're going down. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> We've started our descent, I mean. <laughs> Into the depths. <laughs> of, of, hell. <laughs> of hell, LAX. LAX. So, uh, <laughs> that's so, I'm picturing this dude like, uh, like on the little, because it's all through a phone. Yeah. And I picture him being like, <clears throat> and like posturing real big, like in that dark corner at yeah. the front of the plane, like, welcome to the flight. Yeah. I mean, he was in it, like I said, he was like a scrawny white kid. So he'd come over and be like, what, what do you want to drink? What, do you, what are you having? You and then like, just water. And he'd be like, cool. And he'd go up to the front and pick up the phone and be like, we've started our descent. <laughs> it's like, you're not fooling anybody, dude. When he popped out, you should have said, Dude, Guy in row three has diabetes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When he popped out and he was talking to you normally, you should have checked him. You should be like, no, no, do the thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can do the voice for yeah. the whole plane. Do it for me. <laughs> Let me hear the voice, dude. Ask no, me in the voice. No, I just, it's just a little thing no, no, that I do. ask me in the voice. I want to hear the voice. You do it for the whole plane? <clears throat> what, I'm not special enough? We have complimentary beverages That's for the right. beginning of this flight. That's right. What would you enjoy? I'd Water? Coca-Cola. Perhaps you're diabetic? <laughs> In which case, we're going to have to throw you off this plane. <laughs> we're <was> deplaning. <laughs> he just, he just un- <laughs> disengages the wing. <laughs> what? No, he opens the door. Yeah. And we're just getting sucked <laughs> out. Sorry, sir. You'll have to deplane. <laughs> Clicks your seatbelt and opens the door. <laughs> no, no, I just have diabetes. No, no, no. Yeah, it was weird. It was weird that both of them did it. 
Like yeah. they were in on it. Yeah. Like they were practicing something. Mm -hmm. And I'm I'm only like, what's the airline that usually is like quirky like that? Uh, or maybe it's WestJet, the Canadian one. Isn't there an American one too that the the flight attendants are like supposed to crack jokes and stuff? I, I want to say it's Delta. Like, isn't there like safety video, like a choreography thing? Virgin, maybe was it? No, it's Virgin. It's probably Virgin because the Virgin safety flight video is yeah. It, it looks like a like yeah. That. What's that shit that people used to do in public where it'd be like flash a flash mob? Yeah, yeah. It's, it looks like a flash yeah. mob video. Yeah. yeah, it's so corny. Yeah. So after the shows on Thursday, I did basically I got no sleep because I had to be up at four to go to the airport to go to Notre Dame. How was that? <sighs> The show itself was actually all right. They they cut me loose. I took some risks. Like what do they say? Um, <clears throat> like beforehand they were like, "You're good to say whatever." Because oh, it's a no, Christian college. It, it wasn't like that. I, I was just I was just upfront. I was like, "Listen, man, like my material is not like necessarily." And they were like, "Nah, you know, like as long as you like keep it cool, like it's cool." And so I took stuff out. You know, it wasn't like the full set. Um, but it, it was all right. I took some I took some liberties. Okay. And then I like looked at the people who put it on, and I could see the fear in their eyes. And I was like, "All right, maybe, <laughs> maybe relax." Um, and the audience took it well, but it was definitely a moment where, you know, I don't, I don't know how many more of those I will do. It just felt like a stark age contrast. Mm. A lot of the shit I was saying is pretty dark, and they're all like full of hope, like studying degrees and stuff. <laughs> and as the night went on, I just keep kind of like painting these really grim pictures. Like this kid was like, uh, I'm a I'm a bio I'm like I'm a biology major or something. He like or environmental engineer or something. And I was like, Oh yeah. Uh, you excited for the shit to burn down? Like <laughs> yeah. I'm like, You're not gonna save it. <laughs> you know, it's You're not gonna save it. It's over. Like it's it's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cute. <laughs> oh, that's so amazing that you tried oh, so noble of you. Yeah. <laughs> it's hopeless, so you know that. Oh, you're gonna die in a university when you're this gonna thing be goes... responsible for it burning actually. Yeah. People are gonna blame you. That's the thing. <laughs> you could be at eleven. Yeah. While this thing goes up in flames and instead you're gonna be doing homework mm -hmm. at thirty two. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, DoorDash. New Year, same couch. Resolutions are here. <coughs> but this year, they might look a little different. Let DoorDash focus on dinner so you can focus on resolutions that matter. DoorDash connects you with the restaurants you love right now and right your door. And now, you can get the grocery store essentials you need with DoorDash 2. It's not a sequel. It's just DoorDash as well. <laughs> uh, get drinks, snacks, another This time, it's personal. <laughs> Literally, you can personally get drinks, snacks, and other household items delivered in under an hour. Ordering is easy. Open the DoorDash app, choose what you want from where you want, and your items will be left safely outside your door with the contactless delivery drop-off setting. With over 300,000 partners in the U.S., Puerto Rico, Canada, and Australia, you can support your neighborhood go-tos or choose from your favorite national restaurants like Popeye's, Chipotle, and Cheesecake Factory. For a limited time, our listeners can get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter the code <coughs> TINY. That's 25% off, up to a $10 value, zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter the code TINY. Don't forget, that's code TINY for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject to change, terms apply. There's one kid in the front row, I was like, what are you studying in? And I was like, he's like, finance, I'm like, Evil, nice. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And I kept telling everyone in the room, I'm like, you should just do what he's gonna do. <laughs> and I asked him, and it's, it's Catholic school, so <laughs> obviously they don't, they don't, they say they don't do drugs. I asked him if he's doing Adderall yet, and I had this idea because he was like, "No, I don't, I don't take Adderall." I thought of a, a an all natural stock trader, like he's the, like the only guy in the office. He's like really <laughs> proud funny. that he like doesn't yeah, I'm do natty. Coke. Yeah, yeah, fully natty. <laughs> Yo, that's Wilburn. <laughs> that guy's natty. There's no way he's natty. No fucking way with he his, is. With his returns, there's no way. <laughs> Check him. I've been watching <laughs> yeah, him all year. Yeah, dude. I've been cutting all year. <laughs> <laughs> My portfolio. <laughs> I'm cutting it. I'm waiting for the bulk. I'm waiting for the right time to bulk. <laughs> oh, man. He's just like... Dude, does he lose his money all year? Or, yeah, or, I'm cutting. <laughs> I'm cutting. Yeah, I'm 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 cutting so I can gain it back later. Yeah, he's a, it, that's how but that's how good he is. He's all natural. He can decide when he wants to go down and when he wants to go up. Yeah, 
like, this guy's a sick fuck. He takes his portfolio down right before a year-end bonus. He cranks it up to trick the percentage. <laughs> like, bullshit. <laughs> Damn, now I'm thinking about, like, someone doing a pre-workout for us for, like, a day trading session. Yeah, I think it's called cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. I guess that's true. Well, that's at a firm. But, yeah, yeah, day trading. Yeah, I, you got to wonder. Just... <laughs> that's all it would be. What do you think, like... If they imagine logging into your day trading account and it's a massive L, like minus 125K, you're like, oh, <laughs> you have to smell like a, an ammonia salt to like <laughs> get you straight again. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get those things, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Just eliminates all the tears. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Did, I mean, did you see the video of, uh, uh, was it Theo Vaughn and Joe Rogan doing that shit? They no. had like, they've got the world's strongest smelling salts. No. <laughs> and both of them are like, just put it near their nose and they're like, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> it's I, so funny. I saw that TikTok of all those military dudes yeah, doing it. Yeah. And the one guy's like, whoa, let's go. <laughs> let's go. <sighs> mm. Yeah, Notre, Notre Dame was, was fine. It, it went a lot better than I thought. Uh, there are definitely a few people. There's one kid in the audience. Um, I, he needs to do drugs. He's not built for college. He's falling asleep during the show. Oh, no. What would be really funny was, like, I would get to a punchline, and the room would start laughing, and he'd, like, wake up, and, like, I could tell he's mastered the art, like, in a lecture of, like, nodding off and then getting the crucial information because he'd still start smiling. <laughs> so he's still, like, checked in. <laughs> And then in the show, I point out, I'm like, are you good, dude? And he was like, oh, yeah, dude, just a little tired. <laughs> I'm like, all right. Nice. <laughs> it was so funny to watch. He's dead center, just. <laughs> <laughs> what I should have did was I should have told everyone to shh. <laughs> and we just walk right up to him and then just see if he taps back in. No, everyone leaves. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then it's, except for you. And, it's, and so he wakes up and he's completely alone and you're just on stage looking at him. Yeah, and it's like, look at my watch. You've been here for a while, man. Yeah, what's up, dude? It's one in everyone, the morning. The show's been over. No, I've been doing comedy for five hours. <laughs> yeah, I walked the room. I don't leave until everyone else leaves. <laughs> <laughs> or we all go quiet and then it's like three, two, one. We all start screaming. <laughs> yeah, I'm Panicking. Run and running. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what? What? Hey, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> or everyone starts going, oh, oh. we blame him for busting ass. Nice. That's a good one. That's His buddies one. are like, what happened? Dude, what shit happened? your pants in your sleeve. Oh. <laughs> it smells so bad, dude. <laughs> what happened? He's like, I don't think I farted. <laughs> yeah, those flights uh, to Notre Dame <laughs> is a. Well, dude, I had... Or like, dude, you were having a crazy sex dream just now. <laughs> Everyone saw you. You were like... You were hard as hell, Hard dude. as hell. Moaning. Moaning. Going like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Michaela? Did you have a dream you were jerking off? Yeah. <laughs> Who's Michaela? <laughs> Who's Michaela, dude? This is not your girl. She's going to be so pissed. <laughs> What was it like, dude? Oh, Michaela, I'm going to come. That's exactly what you did, dude. You sounded just like that. Oh. Uh, you're on stage like, that's so embarrassing, dude. Yeah. That's really embarrassing, man. Yo, give it up for my man who had a wet dream during the show. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah you came dream. hard yeah. time, multiple times. We all watched you. It's kind of disgusting. You're grinding on the seat. You were totally like sleepy. Fully turned man. around like this. <laughs> yeah. Just... <laughs> at one point, you started like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At one point, you just walked up to the podium and you were just like giving it. <laughs> Everyone's like, dude, how can. How does this dick not hurt? You were like pounding wood, like. Just like. Like. <clears throat> <clears throat> it was crazy. Yeah, and spanking it too. Yeah. <laughs> Is your hand spanking okay? Spanking the pillar in the theater. <laughs> Yeah, then you, like, pushed Noel off stage just so you could get on stage and, like, balance off your boner. Yeah. You did, like, a weird, like... you like know those headstand. Little, you know, like... <laughs> you know, <laughs> remember those little, like, toy eagles or birds that you would balance on your finger? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, he's like, I just have a picture of like one of those. Spinning? Yeah. Just rotating in place, yeah. balanced on his little fucking, <laughs> his nub. Everyone's like, dude, how does he do that? <laughs> like a dreidel up there. <laughs> yeah, the flights to that place are enough, I think, to not go to school there. Because mm. you have to like, you, it, there's, I don't know, you have to take like a weird one hour, 20 minute flight and then another two hours, seven minute flight and the planes suck. Mm-hmm. Also, that airport is really depressing. We got there, and me and Tom were, like, crying, laughing. Alina, too, because we were just, like, we look at the door, and as people kept exiting, they just kept getting older and older. <laughs> like, it seemed like a dumping site for old people. <laughs> I was, like, dying laughing. I'm, like, I'm literally expecting the next thing to come out is a wheelbarrow with a skeleton. Just, like, <laughs> and they just, like, unload it in the parking lot, and they just go back <laughs> into the fucking airport. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's just an urn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, it's an urn, but like the person just runs out to the curb, chucks it, just <laughs> in the street, and they run back in. <laughs> they just don't care. <laughs> and the truck with a plow pulls up and just pushes the ash into the gutter. It's just once an hour. <laughs> just... <laughs> There's a site, no urn dumping. Is that a thing here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have to say this about flight attendants. The flight attendants going to Notre Dame, I think they, like, fly, because you have to land in South Bend, Indiana, and I think they work out of that airport a lot. Dude, they were fed up. Like, the passive aggression when it came to the mask announcement, oh, dude. Remember, everyone, it is a federal requirement, <laughs> like, just like in the mic. You must wear a mask. That means over your nose. Even if you have diabetes. Yeah, dude, dude, they were hitting it all. Like, it was literally like that. Like, any excuse that you might have thrown out there, all over Someone, it. but shut the fuck up. Yeah. Just put it on. They're like, that means no bandanas. <laughs> No scarves. You must cover your mouth. And then this chick, or I can't actually I don't remember if it was a woman, but this person at the back of the plane dipped it down in the middle of the flight. Dude didn't miss a beat immediately to the phone. Row 10, mask must <laughs> be on. And then he just sat there like staring. And then he hung up the phone. I'm like, they must deal with this shit all day. He, Put like, your goddamn mask yeah, on. Yeah, literally, yeah. That's what he should have tried. Please, yeah. She's like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, goddamn, okay. Okay, you Tell freaky me again. Little, okay, freaky little lib fuck. <laughs> freaky. <laughs> <laughs> I don't normally like the mask, but for you, I'm going to let it ride. <laughs> Sick little boy. <laughs> yeah, man. It was, uh, it was interesting, the mask thing, as you just bounced around. When I went to Philly... <clears throat> There's this dude. It was like below his nostrils and like his bottom lip was poking out. I love that. Just like a G string across the that. top of the yeah. lip. I'm like, just just take it off. Yeah. <laughs> just trying to get away with as much skin as possible. Yeah. I did I ever tell you I wanted to make two piece masks. Oh, that's genius. Isn't that funny? Like a summer mask. So your your tongue can No no, no two piece. Like one for the nostrils right here and then one for the lips right here. Oh the, So it's yeah. like a bikini. That's slutty. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you can show off the stash a little bit. The, the one, mid, the midriff. <laughs> the one like holding the nostril. Would it be like? <laughs> would it like? You know, I just want to picture the design. Would, I think I just kind of picture like a nice, like like a top for a woman, like oh. that. But just like two thing pad, like two things Damn, circles so over the nose holes, showing upper and then head, you'd do, like a string, just like this. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And then the mouth one would be real, like that. That's horny. The yeah. the bridge of the nose. Yeah, yeah. You know, oh, cheeks showing. That's like, you're literally showing yeah, you cheeks. Get right here. Yeah, yeah. It'd yeah. be small. It'd be like a micro mask. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. That is literally the, the thong. Yeah, just of for masks. summer, like kind of, uh -huh. you know, free the stash. That's and then if a guy, if a guy wears it, if a guy wears it, it's like, you know, you know, it's big. <laughs> it's like basically like wearing a fucking banana hammock. <laughs> yeah, exactly. To the day club in yeah. Vegas. Yep. Like, yo, that dude's packing. <laughs> like, he's comfortable in his shit. Yeah, we should do that. Two-piece mask. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> hey, guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, ExpressVPN. 
when you use the bathroom, you always close the door behind you, right? Right. <laughs> you don't want random passersby looking in on you. So why would you let people look in on you when you go online? Yeah. Using the internet without ExpressVPN is like going to the bathroom and not closing the door. Yeah, literally. Uh, did you know that your internet service provider knows every single website you visit? That means if you watch the Perverse Family video, uh-oh. Uh-oh. And what's worse is they can sell this information, your interest in the Perverse Family, to ad companies and tech giants who will use that data to target you. <laughs> uh, so ExpressVPN puts a stop to this. Here's a great this. microwave. Here's a great... <laughs> laxative <laughs> here's a great jar uh expressvpn puts a stop to this it creates a secure encrypted tunnel between your device and the internet so that your online activity can't be seen by anyone i use expressvpn on all my devices it works on everything phones laptops even routers so everyone who shares your wi-fi can still be protected even if they don't have expressvpn and the best part is Using ExpressVPN is as easy as closing the bathroom door. Click, clink. You just fire up the app, click one button, and you're protected. ExpressVPN is the world's number one rated VPN by Mashable, The Verge, and countless others. So if you're like us and you believe your activity is your business, secure yourself by visiting expressvpn.com slash TMG today. Our exclusive link, expressvpn.com slash TMG. You can get an extra three months free. That's expressvpn.com slash TMG. I wanted to make like a fake commercial for a two-piece mask for summer. <laughs> what up? <laughs> Show it all this summer with the two-piece. <laughs> uh, speaking of throw up, um, I feel okay. <laughs> People, not again. No, no, no. We had okay. We had a conversation with someone um, who's been listening to the podcast a long time, and. Really great dude. And he's like, listen, man. Uh, we can tell them who it is. Can we? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's not like it's it's our know. YouTube partner manager. Yeah. So this guy is like our direct contact at YouTube. Yeah. Just started working with him. Great guy. We have to be careful because now they know it's someone with some power. Yeah. They're going to be like, yo, next time you talk about diarrhea, take their fucking channel down. <laughs> so he said, you know, I used to watch you guys on Saturday mornings. I'd like kind of wake up. I'd go... You know, walk out, grab a, grab my brunch. I come back, sit down, throw you guys on, and then I had to stop. This, these were his words. Very professional dude. But he goes, I had to stop fucking doing that because you guys kept talking about diarrhea. So we we hear you. And oh, oh, I got another one. A diarrhea story? I, I got another, like, message from someone that they were like, it was, like, uh, this long. And yeah. it was, like, a visceral just like hatred to to the stuff that we were talking about, mm. and she's like, "We like, we ruined not only her Saturday but like weeks oh. of her life." Oh, okay. And she was like, "You have to stop." Okay. You please, you, ple you have to stop. Well, we're here to officially say Saturday brunch is back on. It's back on. We're committing to you know if you listen to this podcast for a while, you know it's a cyclical thing. Mm -hmm. We had the terrorism phase. Mm -hmm. We had to, we had to, we had to knock it. It off. comes and goes yeah. for sure. And so now we're on the down cycle mm -hmm. of of diarrhea talk. Cleaning it up. We're buttoning it up. No yeah. more talk. No more. No more nothing. I'm, if, not, I'm not even going to joke about it now. If you want to be microwaving anything. Yeah, Let's just say that. Yeah. <laughs> what? We're not. The only thing we'll be heating up is not a packet of. No. So a packet of sauce. Yeah, sauce. Yeah. Yeah. We wouldn't even do that because we wouldn't want to splatter the sauce or anything like that. <laughs> you know? We wouldn't want it to explode in any way. So listen, Saturdays are back. Okay, we're going we're gonna to calm it down. You can resume eating to this podcast is yeah. basically what we're saying. But, you know, if you want a podcast on hard mode, we are doing a perverse family dedicated podcast. <laughs> and if you want to do some extreme podcast listening, you know, don't even joke about what would be on that show. <laughs> Wait, fuck. No. Nope. Wait. It's, nope. Saturdays are back. You gotta <sighs> knock it off. Damn it. Show some restraint. Damn it. Okay. All right. Fine. 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 <laughs> I was talking to somebody who, who <laughs> watches the podcast yesterday, mm -hmm. and uh, he was talking about, like, <laughs> I don't know, the, all, all the stuff, and I was like, did you watch The Perverse Family? He's like, no, I never looked it up. I was like, good, good, good. He's like, but now that we you're can here. see it right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did get a really funny message from someone that said, why did you make me watch that? I'm like, I didn't make you do anything. Yeah, we said don't. Take responsibility No, but I actually was like, good. Life. I'm glad that you didn't. That's a good thing. That's yeah. what we wanted people to do. Yeah. 
And then he was like, yeah, but I found the funniest picture on Twitter. I was like, <laughs> Oh, is it the lady with the bedpan? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. How did you know that? Oh, that that one was doing the rounds. How did you? That's crazy. That, I didn't even say anything about the pic, and you knew. The, that was fucking wild. That. Oh man, that is a. That we is can't a, explain it though. That is a. This Chris, is killing me. That is a Christmas log if I've seen one. <laughs> that's it. That's it. All right. All I'm gonna say is it was a nurse holding a bedpan. Which featured what looked like something on the antique roadshow. You did not know if that came out of a human or if that was dug up somewhere. Yeah. It was crazy. Yeah. I felt like I could have grabbed that thing with two hands and unlocked <laughs> like a combination with it and a genie would have came out. That shit was so insane. It was insane. And then there was like a reply. Did you like read? Oh, I didn't see the reply. Down, read their there was another one. <laughs> this, this dude that like had opened a stall door in some public bathroom and just like zoomed in on the, what was in the toilet. And it just looked like a bundle of firewood <laughs> straight <laughs> up. Like <laughs> the biggest. <laughs> and it's just like, it's so funny because it's not really that gross. It's mm -hmm. just like mind bending. Mm -hmm. like, how is that even physically? Well, what, were the, what were the logistics of that? It's the Christmas season, man. <laughs> I guess, but like, so many things have to happen for that to happen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Did seven people come together and just each throw a stick in? The yeah, pile? maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was. People are like, "You said Saturdays are back. They're back. They're back. They're back. They're back. They're back. They're back. Sorry. They're back. They're back. Not even ten seconds, and we broke the record. Okay, <sighs> Saturdays are back. Saturdays. Now. They're back. As of now. As of now. Oh man. Um, Did you see the uh, fake Trump Christmas card? No. Neither. No. <laughs> I'm on his email list, so he doesn't really talk about these things. I'm joking. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah, as an investor in his SPAC, I get the investor <laughs> updates via email, so. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty funny. I'm actually part of a DAO to get him to own Twitter. <laughs> Dude, why does his shirt look like a, like a penis, man? <laughs> That's the point. Okay. Right. And the smoke? All right. Is that mm -hmm. smoke? I'm an idiot. Oh, oh it's Santa. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's pretty funny. If you can't see it, if you're just listening, it's Trump. It says Merry Christmas. It's Trump. It's all in black and white, and he's wearing a tuxedo, but it's, it's like, tuxedo looks like a dick. Yeah, and his head is the head of the dick. And then there's like a, like Santa and some reindeers in the sky, and it looks like jizz. Yeah, and it's, yeah. they're all aimed at a star, which would probably be someone's asshole, right? Yeah, uh, yes, I guess, yeah. I had That's to a good take point. it there, I apologize. Saturdays are back, though. No, come is fine. Yeah, but you just said into somebody's asshole. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right, yeah. Saturdays are back. Yes, Saturdays are back. All right, let me stop. Hey, guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Stamps.com. If you're mm -hmm. looking for ways to skip the trip to the post office and dodge all that hectic holiday shopping traffic, why not save time and money with Stamps.com? Stamps.com lets you compare rates, print labels, and... Access exclusive discounts on UPS and USPS services all year long. It just makes sense, especially if your business sends more mail and packages during the holidays. Whether you're selling online, running an office, or you got a side hustle, Stamps.com can save you so much time, money, and stress during the holidays. Access all the post office and UPS shipping services you need without taking a trip. Uh, get the discounts you, can, you can't find anywhere else, like up to 40% off USPS shipping rates and 76% off UPS. Going to the post office instead of using Stamps.com is kind of like taking the stairs instead of the elevator. Just going up a couple of floors, sure, take the stairs. Walking up 30 flights a day, you could use a break. Mm -hmm. If you spend more than a few minutes a week de uh, dealing with mail and shipping, Stamps.com is a lifesaver. You'll save so much time and money, you'll wonder why you didn't start sooner. Save time and money this holiday season with Stamps.com. Sign up with the promo code TMG. For a special offer that includes a four-week trial, free postage, and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com, click the microphone at the top of the page, and enter the code TMG. That, like, NRA family Christmas card? Oh, my God. Dude. So ridiculous. <coughs> that had me laughing. That had me... <clears throat> I was laughing so hard at this. Yeah, this, this is it right here. Who is this guy? This is the Purge 5 cover. Yeah. <laughs> Like, it is so funny to grab the family to make, like, the Expendables poster. You know what I mean? That's like Statham, Rock, <laughs> fucking Stallone. <laughs> like, this is hilarious, I, I objectively. Saw, I saw a great tweet that was like, when you, 
when you already look like a dweeb, guns make you look so much dweebier. And yeah. it's like that's the perfect way of phrasing that because mm-hmm. I I can't quite put my finger on like what is such a so like horribly cringy about this picture. Yeah, it's because like when you dress like it's I don't know if you guys are already like a sh- dweeby family, like yeah. these giant auto, fully automatic weapons in your hand, like you don't look cooler <laughs> at all. <laughs> this looks like an accident because it looks so regular. I just feel like. As soon as they took this picture, like <laughs> this chaos ensued. Like the guy's like, "Great shot!" <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. and Dad, ah! <laughs> <laughs> just one great shot. Through the back. <laughs> <of> the <laughs> <laughs> like he shoots his wife, and then the guy gets scared and unloads, and a bullet goes like through the front of his dad's face. <laughs> just like, oh. he like slumps over. Just shoots the roof. Then the chandelier falls down in the middle of the floor. <laughs> the weight of the dad's finger, like when he hits the ground, like just hits the trigger on the shotgun and just starts like shooting behind him and just, just like, kills his teenage daughter. Just like, just, so brutal, man. Only person left is the fucking cameraman. Just like, oh no, he's he's just riddled with bullets. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> He's actually the only one. <laughs> He's like, great. I think we got it. Yeah. Cool. That's like, somebody can, somebody take this, drops it, just <laughs> hits the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's like in the movie True Lies. Did you ever see that movie? No. Arnold Schwart- Arnold and uh, 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 Jamie Lee Curtis. Uh, oh, no. But I had that poster in my like childhood house. Dude, how for some reason? How did you have the poster? But you never saw the film. I I don't know. I don't know. Fucking I do. Poser, I didn't put up dude. the fucking poster. Like it wasn't in my room. It was just like in the oh, just uh, in one of the hallways. I don't know. Sick. <laughs> Is a, it a good movie? Why? Oh, I mean, I loved that movie as a kid. There, there's a scene where Jamie Lee Curtis drops um like a Mac Ten or like a yeah, and it goes down a flight of stairs. And it was the funniest scene. Like as a kid, I used to like replay the scene and like be hysterical. Because the gun is just bouncing down the stairs. It's killing everyone in the room. It's the most ridiculous shit ever. Could never happen like that. A guy's like 100 feet away. Just be like, ooh. <laughs> Jamie Lee Curtis at the top of the stairs. It's like, ah. <laughs> Missed. I watched The Mummy in my hotel room. Just like five minutes of it. I miss when action movies had like really slapstick shit like that. Like there's, there's a scene in The Mummy where... Uh, I forget the main actress's name, but uh, she's like the female lead, and she's a librarian, and she's like doing like this weird like thing on stilts on a ladder because she like gets off balance, and then she loses balance and does a domino effect of like all the bookcases. I'm like, how does that? What the fuck does that have to do with this entire movie? And it was like you know when it was shot. I mean the VFX looks so expensive for that shot, and I'm like, who who cares? Yeah, I'm like, oh. It was like still that era of filmmaking. They had a goofy shit in yeah. there. Yeah. So. That's Brendan Fraser, right? Mm-hmm. Have you seen his before and after? Yeah, he looks way better now. He <laughs> way better. Yeah. Yeah, my boy looking healthy. <clears throat> uh, I, I watched that uh, that movie he was in with Don Cheadle. and. Oh, is that the one where he like. Yeah, bulked looked, up. The reason why he looked like that? Yeah. Mm. It was like. Was about, it good? It was pretty good. I think the exposition wasn't that clear but it's basically about how like the mob was like manipulating um <clears throat> car manufacturing like safety policy and stuff uh i am in the middle of watching this new movie the last duel with fucking matt damon uh ben affleck and adam driver okay and it's a story of like these two you know like squires we know something about that <clears throat> mm-hmm a little something about being a squire Mm -hmm. we certainly do you know basically serving uh this lord and like how their lives go and it it comes to a head because basically matt damon's wife claims that uh, um adam driver's character assaulted her okay um i'm halfway through it it's a crazy ass movie um it uh, what the fuck? But the craziest part about it is Ben Affleck. Can you can you look this up? Ben Affleck, The Last Duel. 
Speaking of Matt Damon, we got to watch this. Yeah, we're going to watch the ad. crypto.com okay. ad. Matt Damon's fucking everywhere. He was in that he was in that Brendan Fraser movie as well. Was he? Yeah. He's in everything, dude. Yeah. But uh wait till you see how Ben Affleck looks. There it's like so many looks that you're almost speechless. You didn't know he could look like this. <laughs> it is Holy fuck. And watching him try to be European is the weirdest thing ever. <laughs> Why? It just doesn't work, man. Like, uh, the third one. Yeah. Wait, what? That's Ben Affleck? Yeah. And go to the one <laughs> right there where he's looking like a fucking hype house kid. <laughs> but he also looks like Guy he looks Fieri. He like Mugat- Mugatu or whatever <laughs> <laughs> from fucking Zoom. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah. Does. Dude, and that's how he acts. How the fuck did I not think of that? That is, that is his character. <laughs> He's this drunken asshole having orgies all the time. Man. Uh, I'm not done with it yet, but, you know, because the way the movie's structured is it's in chapters and it's the truth according to each character. I actually did feel bad tapping out, but it was like two in the morning. So yeah, that's fair. I had to be up. And man. you're sick, too. Yeah, I feel like shit. Maybe you got the Omicron. Yeah, nah. I I got tested twice. I was negative all the time. Yeah, I'm thinking that I've I don't know. There's actually kind of, kind of some good news coming out about the Omicron. Oh yeah, yeah. Makes you st- stronger. No, it actually is. It's like apparently it's it's less severe. Oh. And now don't take my word for this, but this is no. You're this is what I've been Cody's reading. a doctor and he's studied medicine for years and years and take years. Take my take my word for this. <laughs> you this, can trust whatever. everything he says. Yeah. So, um, so you can, it's way more transmissible, right? But the symptoms are less severe. And it's like the less severe. I mean, like I, I guess that's what they're seeing right now yeah. out of like South Africa and whatever. Yeah. Which means that it could basically spread to everyone and give us all antibodies without too many like deaths, basically. Oh. Like I think Bloomberg said, "quote This might be the end of COVID nineteen." Hmm. Nice. Kinda cool. Right. Nice. Yeah. No, we don't think that's. They did. I saw a tweet that was, it was a quote. Yeah, so I don't know. That's good. I yeah. like that. I feel like we should like applaud or something. You, know? <laughs> you heard in two you heard, weeks. Wait, in two weeks, we were wrong. <laughs> no, 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 no. Put it on me. You heard it here first, folks. It is the end of COVID-19. <laughs> Let's hope that doesn't age poorly. Let's really hope. Yeah. Big knock on wood. Yeah. Yeah. We've reached the end of COVID-19. <laughs> now it's time for COVID-20. <laughs> that's exactly what that's exactly what Sam Aww. said. I sent that tweet that was like, quote, the end of COVID-19. He's like, oh, damn, I just scrolled down. He said the start of COVID-22. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the start of COVID-2022. Oh, COVID's officially out of its teens. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah, dude. So. That, yeah. Yeah. I, I want, I'm excited to finish that movie, though. I do feel like the film is just one big, like, what if Adam Driver was in Game of Thrones? Yeah. I, I did, you know. He's I was doing, great, isn't he? <clears throat> he's good. He's a good actor. Fucker got ripped for this movie. Did he? Yeah. He's also in the Gucci one, isn't he? House of Gucci? I Have seen you seen that? that? I want to see that. Yeah. Um, did you see the, <laughs> did you see Seth Rogen's Santa thing? <laughs> the headlines about it. No. It's the lowest rated show ever on IMDb. Ooh. <laughs> Why? I don't know. He said it's because of they pissed off white supremacists. Mm. That's that was his tweet, basically. Got it. Um, but I guess like uh, I don't know. It might have been that people that watch like Steven Crowder were really mad about how like leftist it was, so they like went and review bombed it. Oh, got it. Because it it's probably not the worst show in the entire world, but mm. um, yeah, yeah. The trailer, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It definitely doesn't look that great. Um, I just, animated Christmas shit, I just can't care. Yeah. Personally, I just, I find that format mm-hmm. to be, like, even when I'd be in, like, daycares in, like, el- in elementary school and they play, like, that fucking claymation Rudolph Santa movie, I would just, like, oh, I loved that movie. I fucking what? loathed that movie. Why? I couldn't give a fuck. That was the shit. Uh, oh, my God, that, like brings back just this crazy feeling of nostalgia mm. that movie <clears throat> I was Rudolph saying, the like who did that movie who did that movie Rankin like, Bass oh 
Never mind. I thought I was going to recognize the name. I thought you were going to be like, Rankin ass more like it. That shit stunk. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, nah. Nah, that was a classic. <clears throat> yeah. let's, let's watch this crypto.com ad. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Damn. Damn. We should talk about this, but I did want to say I gave that um, period uh, series fucking Wheel of Time a shot on Amazon. Mm. Oof. <laughs> Luke. I, I hope you don't like that show because I'm about to be mean to it. That's fine. Go for it. <laughs> Did you say period piece? I guess it, it actually, it's not a period. Because so basically, it's based on some books that were written around the time of like Fire and Ice or whatever that like that inspired Lord, um, that inspired Game of Thrones. Okay. So this is Jeff. This is Jeffy trying to have his own Game Jeffy of Thrones. Jeffy B? Yeah, Jeffy okay. B. Okay. So they took. What is a fucking fourteen novel series okay. with a prequel, written by two different authors? Because the guy who originally started it fucking died. Oh and yeah, another okay. dude had to come in, and the series contains something like twenty eight hundred named characters in the books. Oh wow! And they're all like point of view characters, I guess. So I assume that means I don't know shit about writing, but I assume that's like you're getting like little profiles of all these different people. And it's like the basic premise of the show is that there's like magic. It's like the force, basically, and only women can have it because if men get it, try to fuck with it, they go crazy. Okay. Um, and I guess they're like on the search for like Neo, like this Neo type character was like the one, like the return of like the ultimate evil, like, I don't know, dragon something, uh, dragon D's balls. Nice. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> that for a show with so much money, they like, fl- they shot it all in the Czech Republic. So it's like very clearly expensive. The direct I don't know if it's the actors, the directing, I assume it's the directing. Holy shit. I've not seen acting that awful. Really? They should have hired like us five years ago if they were aiming that low on hmm. performance. It is fucking bad. <laughs> I couldn't. And so I think it's the directing because the fact that every actor does that. And they do weird shit where it goes like 24 frames to 60. And like, you don't even know what the story is. It just starts with the Gone Girl lady putting on, like, some robe. Okay. She's like, there's magic, and it's bad, and we have to stop the dragon. And then that's all you get. You're like, what the <laughs> fuck? What I even just watch? And then you just see some lady, like, kill a dude, and she's like, you see what happens when you mess with it? You make it filthy. I'm like, this feels like porn. <laughs> You're like, okay, yeah, now yeah. I'm, I'm like, all right, all right, all right. And they changed the scene on how, me. I'm like, how nasty. Yeah. They did have a horny ass scene like right out the gate though. Amazon's figuring out how to be HBO. Okay. Like ten minutes in, they have the gone girl lady in a hot tub. Yeah. You know? And I see I stuck around. <laughs> <laughs> You're like about it just sucks acting so but... Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll, I'll stick it out for a little bit. You know, but then a guy came in the scene and you see his naked ass and I was like, No, you're gonna make it filthy. You're hurting her. <laughs> <laughs> and then you know so then he slides into the tub and then she uses like her witch powers to make like the water hot because he's like it could be warmer oh and she's like it's fine he's like it could be warmer she's like i was like okay okay, okay. and then do they bang or what no then like some guy comes in the scene and starts talking well, he doesn't come in the scene but you know he, like change scenes this dude is just talking i'm like Ugh. oh yeah gross no nah, i just bailed because it just feels like one of those bad movies where they're like, there's a big danger ahead. There is. And it cuts to some other people. Did you hear about the big danger ahead? <laughs> I did. And you're like, all right, fucking. I guess there's big danger ahead. It's just bad. Hey, guys, we want to take another quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, BetterHelp. Is there something interfering with your happiness or is preventing you from achieving your goals? BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You'll be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. It's not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It is professional therapy done securely online. There's a broad range of expertise available, which may not be locally available in many areas. The service is available for clients worldwide. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to your therapist. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses. Plus, you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions. So you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room uh, like traditional therapy. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches. So they make it easy and free to change therapists if needed. It's more affordable than traditional offline therapy and financial aid is available. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life 
today. So visit BetterHelp.com slash TMG. That's Better H-E-L-P and join over 2 million people uh, who have t- decided to take charge of their mental health uh, with the help of an experienced professional. Uh, in fact, so many people have been using BetterHelp that they are recruiting additional therapists in all 50 states. There's a special offer for you guys right now. Get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp.com slash TMG. This is Crypto.com ad. Have you I, seen this? I, 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 no, I haven't watched this whole thing. That's the thing. We were talking about this and Crypto.com and everything. By the way, Kyle just told me that they're putting up they took down the Staples letters. They're putting up the Crypto.com letters on Christmas Day. Oh, just to just a giant it and fuck twist you. It. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So let's watch this ad with Matt Damon that we were talking Everyone's about. Everyone's strapped in. Prepare to be, um, yeah, yeah. Prepare to be condescended. Okay. Yeah. History is filled with almosts. <laughs> with those who almost adventured, who almost achieved... But ultimately, for them, it proved to be too much. Then there are others, the ones who embrace the moment and commit. <laughs> and in Jesus. these moments of truth, he, he wanted to say something else there at the beginning. He wanted to say, like, uh, who almost achieved, but fucking ate shit, shit. instead. Slept on this market. <laughs> these men and women, these mere mortals oh. just like you and me oh as they peer over the edge oh mere mortals just like you yeah yeah <laughs> not me though wait i'm, I'm sorry? mad damon yeah i'm fucking mad damon what if you pause there just like you <laughs> a little chuckle just like <laughs> you 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 know calm their minds and steal their nerves oh with four simple words that have been whispered by the intrepid since the time of the Romans. Oh, I'm fucking Matt oh, Damon. Oh, 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 now let this go, let okay. this go. Fortune favors the brave. Oh, oh boy! Oh, oh, mic drop! <laughs> so, fuck you! <laughs> if you're listening on audio, yeah, seriously. Fortune favors the, the brave. brave. Bitch. Dude. Fuck you. So, if you're just listening, they just compared buying Bitcoin to um space exploration Mm -hmm. climbing mount everest the human flight being a fucking like a roman legend i guess (laughs) like like and and they compared um uh i don't know not buying bitcoin to um uh, what is that like a conquistador like failing to discover another country in 14.9 like it was like a dude on a ship like tapping out. Oh yeah, this uh, guy. There's nothing yeah. for my country to pillage. Failure. Here. We have to leave. Ultimately, wasn't for him. <laughs> yeah, that's what he said, right? For them, it proved to be too. Oh, much. proved to be too much. <laughs> you know, they went through like nine revisions to get that, like, <laughs> to get that, like, palatable enough. Yeah. To say, how do we? How do we? How do we like not be too offensive to all the fucking failures out there? Yeah. Because they, they don't see the power of crypto. I mean, yeah. they're fucking morons, okay? <laughs> that's, that's what we have to remind them of, is they're fucking stupid, and now's their chance to get a little bit of cheese. Yeah. Honestly, I like this commercial. <laughs> yeah? I do. I think, I, think, uh, I think that it's... I just wanted to see the end. Crypto.com. Yeah. I think that they... I don't know that they nailed what they were trying to do. No, I think they did. This is the Chase Bank of crypto, and... You know? Yeah. Because, like, the big banks always have some, like, lightly condescending commercial. How so? Get your bottom barrel uh, checking account that uh, won't fuck your life up Uh, on overdraft fees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you overdraft a lot, don't worry. This card's for you. Yeah. Do you always have a negative balance? That's okay. Yeah. We'll give you this perk that sounds like a feature, but we'll just let you skate to the next paycheck. Fuck you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not saying, like, ethically this is a great commercial, the writing. I'm saying, like, <laughs> in order, like, the getting people to invest in crypto, this probably is, like, super effective. Yeah. At getting people to go to crypto.com and be like, I don't want to be left behind. Yeah. I'm not a failure. You know where they're running this ad? On cable TV in South Bend, Indiana. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Is that how you saw it? 
I saw it on fucking cable TV. No way. I was like, oh my God. They're just going to rinse every person that's geriatric. Yeah. It's Oh, that- dude, I was, oh my God. I was listening to, when I was driving through Bakersfield, mm-hmm. California. You, you thought about living there? I was like, it's beautiful here. Yeah. I started looking at Redfin. Like, oh, it smells like shit. It's I want to stay here. It smells like ass. Yeah. Nothing around here. Not even an airport. Sick. Yeah. Um, so isolated. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> um, no, I was listening to FM radio because my phone was about to die and my charging yeah, port yeah, broke, yeah. so I couldn't do CarPlay or whatever. So yeah. I was like, "Cool, let's let's go old school." How many times on did the you FM hear radio and the it's baby like, and Dua Lipa? It's, oh, like fifty times. Yeah. Like they played the same five songs. Literally, I know people say that about FM radio, but they were oh, going through the same five songs, like yeah. just going through. Like yeah. they just were like, no one listens to FM radio this long, so we can just play the same shit over and over again. And then it's like twenty minutes of ads. Yeah. Between five songs. Yeah. And all the ads are they scammy ass shit. Like yeah. one of them was a COVID thermometer. <laughs> and the way that they were pitching it was like basically harping on the danger of COVID and the effects and you don't know where it is in your community. So then buy our thermometer to tell if you already have it. Nice. Yeah. But they were pitching like the thermometer was going to solve COVID for this yeah. community. Yeah. It was really fucked up. I yeah. was like, this is a scam. Yeah. Yeah, what the fuck is a thermometer gonna do? That's where McDonald's runs all their like vaguely like racist like radio ads. Yeah. Like the voiceover on those is insane. It's you know <laughs> it's fucking it's just bad. Um yeah. So then you know, crypto.com basically I think that's where they're gonna go next is FM radio ads. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Do you have COVID? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not if you own Bitcoin, you yeah, don't. Yeah, yeah. Do you have COVID? Bitcoin is proven to be the number one repellent Wait, against nah, COVID nah. symptoms. <laughs> nah, it'll be like this. <clears throat> Are you over 60? Is the final stage of life knocking on your doors? You want to leave something behind for the people that you care about. Mm-hmm. You're at risk of COVID. You could go any day now. Yeah. And you want to do something nice for the family. Yeah. So be brave. Mm-hmm. Crypto.com. Also, are you a fan of Matt Damon movies? <laughs> yes, yes, I you am. Like yes, him. yes. This is his voice. This is Matt Damon <laughs> talking to you right now. Matt, Matt, should, talk to me, brother. I think you should buy Bitcoin. I, I will buy that Bitcoin. I will. On Crypto.com. I will. Yeah, I bought some Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah, Matt Damon told me to do it on the radio. I love that man. <sighs> I loved him. When we see Goodwill a, hunting. Yeah. When we see a Crypto.com ad with... Um, you know what they say. Mm-hmm. That's coming next. Maddie for Cons, sure. yeah. yeah. Maddie McCons, mm-hmm. yeah. That's when it's over. That is, is when it's fucking over. Yeah. They're trying to get everybody. Um, you know, now that we're at the end of this episode, I think it's a good time to talk about Tether. Okay. Let's do know. it. Open up that Reddit thread. I got to read that. But you can explain it to me, too. All right, everyone. If I talk about crypto in the. Um, <clears throat> Uh, Bog Brother voice, does it make it more acceptable? <laughs> Do it. Bump to ones with Tata and sends <laughs> it sideways. <laughs> so in that Bizanachi bit, that's like a that's like a joke. Is like, you know, uh the Bog Brothers calling in to print a bunch of stable coin, which represents US currency. Uh and that's what this shit's supposed to be, tether. And they've printed money before and They've now printed at, uh, on uh, what was well. Let's explain tether more. Basically, yeah. tether is a, what what a stable coin is is something that's backed by uh Amer- the American dollar one to one. Yeah. So yeah. for every tether that's created, it means that they have a dollar of American currency in their reserves. So basically, what it means is someone can exit crypto trades like if they're in bitcoin and they want to exit, they can exit into tether. Yes. And that basically, re- without having to go to uh, dollars and that in, be- in the beginning was I guess to avoid like taxable events or something like that uh, but it's also so that they can make trades easier and they don't have to go back and forth between the dollar which is a tougher thing to do yes so now I guess tether is the amount of tether that exists now is like 68 billion dollars or something like <laughs> <Yeah>. that <laughs> and it's supposed to all be backed by Real the US money. dollars yeah. and you know normally people are like transparent about that and how they how they do that and what they actually have in their reserves. Because it can't just be money, mm-hmm. right? They, they don't have $68 billion sitting in an account somewhere. So they, 
they are a buyer of commercial paper, which I guess is, I don't really know what it is, but I guess it's like some form of debt or something. Right. But it would basically, if they really did had $68 billion, it would make them like one of the biggest purchasers of commercial paper in the world besides like JP Morgan or something like that. Right. And this is like a small company. Yeah. Of, of people that do not, that basically show zero transparency. Yeah. So what could happen here is like, if they find out, if the world finds out that um, they don't actually have the money to back up the amount of tether that people are holding, it could basically crap, crash the whole crypto industry, mm -hmm. basically, I think. Yeah. That's now, correct me if I'm wrong on that. that. That was my shitty explanation, but. Yeah, it's probably pretty <clears throat> crucial that you understand that going in. I just got so excited to say that as of a few days ago, they printed an additional $1.5 billion worth of tether as is phrased here, literally out of thin air. Wow. And then it says, nowhere, nowhere it is documented where the money which was just created comes from and where it actually went. <laughs> I was so... Before 2019, Tether claimed 100% of its reserves would be backed by actual cash. Suddenly in April of 2019, Tether claimed only 74% of Tether was backed by actual okay. cash and cash equivalents, which is the commercial paper, basically. So this, so going off of what you said... This was my thought. I didn't actually get this deep in the body because I was just so, like, amused with the fact that they printed money. I think they're trying to do the Fed thing where it's like, oh, no, we have this amount. You know, it's unlikely that everyone will cash at the same time. Yeah. So, you know, um, we can continue to, you know, purchase more debt and, like, you know, issue more fucking currency because yeah. we have this minimum percentage. Yep. Of assets. Yep. So they're 100% doing the Fed thing. But, uh, I mean, it could implode the crypto market. Or what if it just does nothing? Because, you know, our fucking money is built on bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Fed's doing the same thing. Kind of genius. cash out of nowhere. Yeah, kind of genius to be like, what if we're just the crypto Fed? Yeah. What if we just do it first? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Evil, man. What does the top comment say? Uh, LOL mid YB did it better. These kids need to fucking <laughs> <laughs> L L L L crypto L tether. Yeah, they're minting coins like countries print their money. Lol. Yeah, yeah. Uh, tether is the actual magic internet money. Yeah. No, they're a hundred percent just doing the Fed shit. It would be so crazy if they put themselves in a too big to fail situation. <laughs> rug pull be the rug pull be streamed online to achieve max revenue. <laughs> yes. Yes. Rug pulling $68 billion. <laughs> <laughs> Lol, we got you guys. LOL. It's just like on the next channel over. Yeah. Sri Lanka is <laughs> bankrupt. <laughs> yeah, so now they claim 2.9% is backed by cash, I think. Or wait, what does it say? A pie yeah. chart? Yeah. Uh, zoom in. Pump 200 tether and crush it. Commercial paper, 65%. Actual cash is 3.87%. Yeah. What's 3.87 of 68 billion? Um, Four? <laughs> yeah, I'm just doing the math. Don't worry about it. 300 trillion. Oh, really? No, no, no. That's not right. We have to carry a one somewhere. Uh, <laughs> so that's... So it's 20... It's 200, 2 billion. It's 2 bill. Yeah, 2 billion. 2.7 billion. Yeah. That's enough to run away forever. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, rug pull it. Yeah. Oops, it was a bit. Yeah. Now I have $3 billion yeah. in offshore accounts, and you can never fuck with me again. Can you look up what commercial paper is? I need to actually know this. I think that's what they printed the crypto.com ad on <laughs> for, like, billboards and stuff. <laughs> I think that's what commercial paper oh, so, is. So, wow, Tether owns so much of that. Yeah. Billions of dollars. We were up billboard front. billboard paper? We just owned the billboards. <laughs> we were up front. Bring it up on the screen. Yeah. What is commercial paper? Commercial, commercial paper, paper is a commonly used type of unsecured short-term debt instrument issued by corporations typically used for the financing of payroll. Ooh. Accounts payable and inventories and meeting other short-term liabilities. Ooh. Maturities on commercial paper typically last several days and rarely range longer than 270 days. That hmm. sounds like an awful scheme. So it's just debt. Yeah, they sell debt. Right? Like they will per 
because it's it's short term. It's issued by a corporation, so they <clears throat> they. Yeah, it's a form of unsecured debt. Yeah, but if the corporation's issuing it to cover off on their costs, doesn't the corporation owe? Tether needs. I don't know. I don't fucking know. We have gotta discuss that's, this off that, air. No, <laughs> no, that's fine. No, we can show how stupid we are. Scroll up. <laughs> Am I reading that right? Go up, go up. Okay, wait. Typically used for the financing of payroll, right? Uh, it's issued by corporations. Yeah. Meeting other short-term liabilities. So the corp issues the commercial paper because they need money. So Tether has a bunch of uh, uh, debts that they get to collect on. That's what it sounds like. It yeah, just, but then who's giving them the money? Because Tether doesn't have any cash to give them. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think that's why maybe they started at uh, like 100% backed, and now they're all the way down to that low number. Because mm. they've probably... Um, yeah, so th this is just like a Ponzi scheme. They're just floating. They're just like an intermediary for corps to like float money. Mm. So they, they, they get a, a loan that has to be returned within ideally 270 days and they're just like rotating money yeah i see <laughs> fucking hell dude well it's not a ponzi scheme no no it's not a ponzi but it, it, they're definitely yeah it's sus yeah it's fucking sus that's yeah. my financial assessment yeah <coughs> credit rating sus sus it's just crazy that that's 68 billion dollars has been printed of tether Probably because they have sixty-eight billion worth of fucking commercial paper. Yeah, that is so fucked. Why didn't we think to do that? Because we're stupid. Because we just learned what commercial paper was. <laughs> no, I think we would have discovered this if we were evil enough. Yeah, it's all like one day someone was like, "Oh, if everything's debt oriented, how can I have the most like accounts receivable?" Yeah. That's all it is. Like, yeah. how can I get the most people to owe me? Yeah. And then they were like, oh, we could fuck the whole crypto market yeah. with this. Yeah, it's also, yeah, basically <laughs> the, the value of Bitcoin is like really propped up by the legitimacy <laughs> of Tether. It this is. is the housing crisis all over again. Yeah. Oh. You no, know, people are saying that if Tether, like, if, it, if it's found out that Tether is fake or that the people lied or whatever, it could really, like, take down i don't know it's like there's a ton of value lost yeah it's so crazy. buy ethereum yeah i mean <laughs> that's also kind of tied together though so buy dogecoin yeah dogecoin is only true crypto and now like every single exchange has has its own stable coin do, do you see how elated i am that crypto could just fall yeah then i can be like then you can finally get in. It's a yeah. <laughs> and now, 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 I know I'm not missing my. Who's a failure now? Who's a failure bitch? now, Matt? <laughs> Matt Damon. Who you calling a fucking loser, Matt? Um. All right, bonus time. Bonus time. Hopping into the bonus where we will be discussing all the good stuff. What else have we got? <laughs> Wizards um, and dragons NFTs. Now, just kidding. No more crypto talk. Weird uh, future, maybe that. Oh yeah, yeah. We can get it like some funny like meta shit. Oh yeah, yeah, we got some metaverse yacht, yacht purchases. Coming and... up in the bone zone. The metaverse yacht. A robot that is just way too human. And Elon and diabetes. Musk, and diabetes. And Elon Musk awful fade. <laughs> <sighs> we also have the Jake Paul fight. fight. Don't talk about boxing. We won't. <laughs> or will we? <laughs> Tune into the Bone Zone at patreon.com slash tinymeatgang. Mm. <laughs>